So in this exercise, we learned about the dot on event handler. What this basically allows us to do is to manipulate things that have been added to our page after the page was loaded. So it's just a little nuance with jQuery. So whenever you add something to the page after it's loaded, you're probably going to need to use this event handler. So I'll try and explain more as we go along, but to use it in this scenario, we're just going to do document dot on click we're going to be targeting our item that's going to be generated dynamically function move this down a bit and then we're going to remove the thing we click on so we can use this So that's the code and we'll see it in action. So we're going to add an item and then we're going to remove it. So more about the dot on event handler. Your page loads, right? And now you're going to add a, an item. We're going to add this test item. So that's been added dynamically. So since we added that dynamically, to further manipulate that item, that's when you use the dot on event handler. So that's basically that's basically the best way I can explain it. I think that's pretty clear. So now that's why we use this dot on event handler. It allows us to remove this item that was generated after the page was loaded. And voila. That's it for this exercise. And I hope you understand when you're going to need to use that event handler. If you further are a little clouded, add a comment below. You know, let me know and I'll try and explain it even further. So that's it for this exercise. I'll see you at the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.